Hello my loves. Oh, let's try and get that lighting a little bit better. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to be chatting to you. Oh, I have missed you guys so much. Um, as you can see, I've got um, greasy looking hair. It's actually not greasy. I've got a hair mask in at the moment, like a coconut hair mask. Um, and I've also got rosemary oil in, guys. I did get sucked into the trends. Um, and I've also got like this um, scalp serum in as well, which is really, really nice. Let me quickly grab it for you so I can show you. Hang on. I'll try and keep it in the room because I tend to put it on before I dry my hair. However, I've decided that I'm just gonna, um, I sort of just, yeah, I thought I'd use it before I have a shower, I suppose. But literally, it's just the least, I think it's the least, Stafford, I think that's how you say it. It's just this one here. It's really, really nice. It smells really nice as well, actually, which I was really surprised about. I wasn't sure what it was actually going to smell like, but if it's like a really nice, like shampoo sort of smell, um, and it literally just comes in like this little bottle. You obviously squeeze it out, and then how can you argue with that? That looks absolutely delicious. Uh, yeah. So, and I'm just actually about to go and have a shower, sort my life out, guys. I have actually have my hair cut i had my hair cut uh last week so i will show you once i have dried it i have also brought over with me um i ordered i'm gonna be that girl and i am actually so buzzing about it i ordered from amazon let's open it up i'm really hoping this is what i was oh yes it's them i ordered wow it's all come in this bag open it up i ordered rollers guys oh my gosh i'm so excited and basically it was like this pack that obviously came with quite a few there's like three different sizes so obviously there's like quite a small one medium sort of size and then bigger bouncy ones and there's like one two three four, uh, six of each of those which is quite nice it comes also with this with this and i'm not gonna lie to you i actually don't know what it is and if you know what you're meant to do with this please let me know because i actually have no idea what that is and i'm gonna have to research it now um but it also came with like loads and loads of clips as well which i thought was really handy um because i want that like swish in my my bangs so my bangs bang guys oh my god but they are extra um and i actually had to have let's have a bit of story time before i quickly show you these oh love it um so basically i have my hair cut and i went to the hairdressers bearing in mind guys i'm actually so bad uh, at getting my hair cut like i literally never remember to book myself in josh will fully vouch for this as well and like and say how bad i am at it um i literally haven't been since like christmas i know it's so bad i'm so ashamed um so yeah, I haven't been since Christmas and I needed to go get my hair done. And I was just like, look, I need to get it done. It needs to be sorted because my bangs have got really long. Sorry about that. My camera just decided to run out of storage. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I basically booked my hair in because my, my bangs got really, really long and my hair had got really long. But even though it was really long, like it wasn't like there was nothing going on. Like it wasn't growing anymore. I had no like more length really. Um, so I was like, what is happening? I don't really understand what's going on. Um, and basically what it was, was, I'm sorry that the lighting's so poor right now, guys, please just, uh, I apologise. Um, so yeah, I basically went to the hairdressers and she was like, look, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I need to cut off quite a bit of your hair because basically what had happened, because I'd left it so long, this is why they recommend you go like every eight weeks or whatever it is, you know, or when you start to feel that your hair is um, sort of thinning at the ends and breaking. And, and if you can, basically she said that, if you can see through it, it needs to be cut off because that's where it's starting to thin um, and yeah, it's starting to break at the ends. Um, that's that when you start to get obviously like split ends and stuff and it's, it's just not healthy for your hair. So um, it was like a whole comb's worth of hair, which bearing in mind is quite a lot. Let's think of a comb being like, what, this this big? That's quite a lot of hair, guys. Um, so yeah, my hair's quite, it's not quite short. I mean, it's obviously a lot shorter than what it was before, but it's not like super duper short. It's not like I've got like a bob or anything like that, you know. It probably comes to like, maybe like here now rather than 
like further down my back which is where it was I think it goes to there maybe a little bit shorter like just where my um my outfit sits um but yeah so she basically was like look okay I've got to cut this off like only if you're happy with it of course but she was really really helpful she was really like explaining a lot of things to me how how I can like take care of my hair better what I can use um and also like ways that I could improve getting that like nice flick for my bangs that isn't too like in your face and don't have to curl it a lot it's more natural um like I said I'd only have to dry my hair then so basically all I do is just put that in once I've sort of dried it I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit um once I'm doing it anyway um and yeah and then I just leave it to sit in and then that's when I get that nice wave and basically with my um with my bangs I mean at the front of my hair because I got like quite naturally um curly like wavy hair it I get a, like a natural cowlick I think that's called I think that's what it's called anyway it's cowlick so it like um flicks up at the, the top that's what my hair does and it's really frustrating actually I, I find that really annoying um and I don't like that part um, of my hair when it does that because like it, it's just unnecessary so basically what she said is to grab your bangs pull it to the front I mean you could probably do this with your normal hair guys if like obviously if you don't have bangs it doesn't mean that you just have to do it with those like it could be with any hair if that's what you get you basically grab the part of your hair and you so you would pull it down pull it to that side dry that side so then you get rid of the cowlick on that side and then you would pull it over to this side dry that side and that's how you would like get rid of that obviously you could straighten it and whatever but like it's just a way of um like reducing the amount of heat that you put on your hair by being able to do that straight away and then you won't get that cow look at anyway i'm going to try it because i haven't actually tried it yet um and yeah we'll just see how it goes because i've been a skanky biatch and and i haven't actually washed my hair and i've just been using dry shampoo so uh hating on myself right now it's just not ideal so i'm gonna go and wash this off and go and get in the shower quick and then i'm gonna do my skincare and then come inside and i'm gonna dry my hair real quick and sort myself out and then i'm going to tidy this room up because the stress and then we're gonna make dinner tonight so we're making pasta for dinner tonight but like a nice creamy pasta dish and then we're gonna have like um uh, josh is having salmon and i'm having like vegan fish um on the side which is really nice so yeah that'd be really cool and i think i'm i'm gonna try and like make all of it ready before when he gets back from football anyway i hope you're all doing really well um and i wonder please tell me how your week has been please let me know um i was gonna put a fake tan on tonight but you know what i really cannot be bothered so that's where we're at and the effort of life today um yeah so let's go and sort ourselves out shall we um oh. that was so cold that was on like a really cold oh, I've got to go and get my razor so I have got my hair strid razor it's like the best thing ever I've actually got a new one guys so I've got a green one of that and then I am going to quickly put on my hair removal cream. Now, honestly, guys, this is like actually the best stuff ever. I've like tried and tested like a, um, a couple of other ones and like all tried to find ones that I would have liked. But this, honestly, I swear by it. Woo Woo Hair Removal Cream for your sensitive lady area is chef's kiss. The best. So, I'm going to sort myself out and then I'll switch you guys after. Okay. I'm going to get the biggest one out, I think. Because I want mine to be fairly big. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. Basically, what you do now is make sure all of it is wrapped on there. And you're literally just going to pull down... And then clip that in. And then you're just gonna leave it there. And then you're just gonna dry the rest. See? Look how easy that is. Although I do feel like I'm in the, the Grinch at the moment. Yeah, I don't know if it's right, but oh well. <laughs> Beauty is pain, of course. <laughs> oh, I am all done now. Um, it excuses the noise of the fan if you can hear it. I'm just trying to cool the room down a little bit, even though that probably isn't helping. But um, 
I was literally just sat in front of it, so I'll probably turn it off in a second. But as you can see, I have put my hair in a roller. I literally only put my bangs in a roller, guys. Um, and the rest of my hair is fairly um, straight. And if not, then obviously I'll, I'll go over it in the morning. But that is now like the length of my hair. But it feels so healthy. Like it looks healthy, it feels healthy. So just live in my. Uh, my best life with my hair at the moment guys i look so incredibly shiny right now i look like i've got highlight all over my face i don't i promise and i promise it's not sweat either it actually is just from my um moisturizer and stuff it's just been really nice on my skin let's see that's a little bit better um yeah anyway so i'm gonna give this room a tidy i've got a couple of things i need to quickly take downstairs and then uh, i will stop it uh, and just giving it a quick spruce up before my darling comes home. Uh, and that's about it really. That'll be our chill night for this evening. And we're probably just going to watch... What are we watching tonight? I don't know. We've just watched Game of Thrones for the third time, guys. Because we're obsessed and we can't help ourselves. Um, you know how it is. It's just one of those things. You know you've got a series that you absolutely love and you must watch it all the time. That is our series. Um, that and Modern Family. So... I'm going to get to it, otherwise I'm going to procrastinate and chat too much and then I'm never going to get anything done. Good afternoon, my loves. Uh, it's obviously the next day, as you can tell. Um, let me give you a little update on what happened yesterday because, oh my god, you guys are going to think this is quite funny actually. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm just sat in the car waiting for Josh at the moment. Basically, what happened, me and Josh were messing around last night. We had this thing called elbow fights, guys. I'm not going to get too much into it because it's actually pretty ridiculous. But we basically just like play fight. Um, and he sort of threw his elbow, obviously complete accident, it's not his fault. But we were just messing around um, and he threw his elbow and it hit me straight in the nose and it's actually still a little bit painful like right here it's like a little bit sore i ended up having a big nosebleed guys and it was not nice it was literally down my face i was crying i haven't had one since i was a kid so like it's not exactly like something i i remember josh has had like quite frequent um nosebleeds in the past before so he's very like used to the feeling and everything but it literally i felt like it was going down my throat i was like josh my nose is broken i'm dying crying my eyes out honestly how how dramatic but yeah, so that happened to me last night, um, which was great, just what I wanted. But I'm just waiting for Josh to come back to the car. We are going into the gym. So I've got my t-shirt on at the moment, my ride wear top, and just my ride wear shorts. Absolutely love ride wear. It's my go-to. Um, I do actually need to order some more stuff from there because I only have a few things, and they're more like wintry things now. So I need to get some more summer stuff. But yeah, we're doing legs today, guys. So a leg gym workout i've chopped my hair up in a big clip for now i've got my oh i've got my bangs out how i've got a spot up there it's it. <laughs> so got my bangs out for now they're a little bit messy this morning but we're rolling with it how is it it's not super cold nice work <laughs> yeah. do your job <laughs> so many ice cubes in there um, we've just gone to go to Starbucks, obviously. I swear that's like... Oh, You're cringe. Wow. Cringy. What? Oh, so, um, Josh doesn't like his strawberry acai with strawberry bits going... Oh my god, that was so loud. Could you please do your window up, hun? Thank you. What? Are they alright? Cheers! I was gonna say something then. Save myself. Um Yeah, so anyway, George gets his strawberry sign now without strawberry bits because he doesn't like them because the other day he kept getting them stuck like at the top and then he, he <laughs> So now he um he doesn't like having them because it just like doesn't like having them in his mouth and it's just one of those isn't it? maybe it's like a sensory thing you just don't like squidgy strawberries when they're like a bit mushy mushy strawberries mushy strawberries um so instead he gets strawberry syrup i can't remember if i don't think i've i don't think i've said that before okay. but anyway he gets strawberry syrup um which is definitely a better alternative um Oh, it's like, but there's road works going on by where we live, guys, and it's really annoying because we obviously like to come this way. It's really cold at the top. Mm. That's where the ice is. Maybe it's slowly making its way down. And then obviously, I've got my standard 
iced oat milk latte with vanilla syrup. It is just one of those drinks I get all the time. I'm so basic. Basic Starbucks gal. So we've, yeah, we've got our coffees now. We've been to the gym, guys. It's like a little, a little treat, honestly. It's like being in the car with a child. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> Stop. Um, oh my God. Oh. Why have you got me like this? It's because you're hungry, isn't it? Josh gets really annoying when he's hungry, guys. Just to out him all over my channel. He gets really annoying and... Ugh, and he starts like really pushing my buttons. Ah, Josh! Oh my god, me and you aren't friends anymore. Um, mm. So we've been to the gym, we did legs. Uh, we were both sort of crying by the end of it. It was kind of sad. <laughs> we were like, mm, I'm ready to go home now. I made you do it. You're wow. You're the one who suggested doing legs today. Anyway, um, we're gonna go back. Are we gonna get some food? Are you hungry? Getting food. What's your getting food? We're going to make some food. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm gonna have. Sorry, sir. My God, every man for himself. What? So mean. This is literally our relationship, guys. This is just what like we do every day. So don't think that either of us are bullying each other because we're not. This is just the kind of relationship we have. <laughs> a relationship built on bullying. <laughs> we're just horrible to each other. See how much we can annoy each other in a day. <laughs> I'd win. Yeah, you would actually, because I get annoyed really easily. <laughs> so it wouldn't work. But I think we should do. I think we should do the say yes. The dress. Oh, yeah, say yes to the dress because obviously I'm getting married. <laughs> no. Um. Mm. Say yes to like anything in 24 hours to like for each of us. If you guys want to see that, please let me know because I really want to do it. I don't care if Josh does want to do it because uh, I'll happily I'd, uh, have Josh say yes to everything. I reckon I can make you say no. No? To what? What would you say then? I don't know. <laughs> well, then you don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to go get some food, guys. Um, I did actually order. Oh, he's locked in. I did actually order a contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm really looking forward to trying that out, guys, um, and seeing what it's like. He's literally just left me with all my stuff, so I actually am going to have to put the camera down for a minute because I can't carry everything. But I will um, show you properly when I get in. It is lunchtime. Josh has got a pizza. I've got leftover pasta from what we made yesterday. Super creamy. I mean, it doesn't look so much now, but it was yesterday because obviously it's been overnight and in the fridge and whatever and i've got like these little cajun chicken pieces and we are watching selling sunset if it want to focus watching selling sunset never my best lives boo woohoo boo <laughs> um hello everybody james is just we've got down the playstation 3 and james is actually just sat and we've he set it up so um he's currently playing a game and the graphics are terrible compared to our pcs but it's all good um i'm actually just going to finish off the video here so thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed um make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel welcome to the, the fam oh. we have. um and i will see you guys in the next video bye what do you mean